Welcome to Way of Yao. My name is Yao and it is a pleasure to see you all. For anybody who is new to the family, girl, you better subscribe so you can see all of the weekly uploads. And if you're already a part of the family, then welcome back. So for this video, I will be doing a look, but before we get into the look, I need to talk to you guys a little bit about this hair. Now, as you know, my last upload was a hair video, or the one before was a hair video, and I did dye my hair red. I literally dyed my hair twice in order to get it this color, and I do want to dye it a third time to get it even brighter. But just to give you guys an update, my hair did feel quite dry after dyeing it the second time, and it stayed feeling kind of dry for about a week I'd say only like now it's starting to really start to feel like there's a lot of moisture in there and it's not feeling as brittle and tangly and dry because when your hair is drier it feels more prone to knots and stuff like that but now I'd say it's definitely like the rest of my hair and it's definitely feeling a lot more soft now to talk about this look I achieved this look by using MOTD brushes these are the brushes, as you can see they're not like spanking clean because I literally just use them to film this look. So they sent me a total of 11 brushes, you have some face brushes and also some eye brushes as well. This one is definitely a favourite of mine, it's called Get Cheeky With It. This is what I use to apply my highlight and I'm literally going to be using this from now on. Fan brushes have gone out of the window sis, this is actually an amazing brush. Secondly, Just Browsing is an amazing brush as well. This is what I used to carve out my brows and it just did an amazing job. I find it better than the one that I usually use because it's a little bit shorter so you have more precision and can really place it. Also these brushes are vegan and cruelty free which is a bonus so if you guys want to go to the description box and check out the website I'll leave that down there and I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I hope you are living for this golden liner with like an open cut crease sort of thing going on if you guys actually enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button if you're not already a part of the family subscribe share a share would help so much just showing a friend or you know posting it or reposting it or whatever it would really help so much and i would really appreciate it and thank you guys so much for tuning in and stay snatched perfect now to start off this tutorial I'm going to shape around my brows and I'm going to give it a really nice undefined sharp shape. I love a nice arched brow so that is what we are going to create here with a little bit of my LA Girl concealer. Then I'm going to go ahead and buff around the edges of that concealer so that it will blend in with the foundation when we place that down. Now taking my fawn concealer from LA Girl. I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow base and I'm going to place that all over the eyelid. Now taking the Zori palette, I'm going to take the shade Rainer and I'm going to use that just above my crease to start off my cut crease. It's a really nice deep plum shade. Then I'm going to dip into Papaya and I'm going to blend out the edges of Rainer and I'm just going to make it look a little bit more smoky. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease using some more concealer. And now I'm going to take that liner brush and create a little bit more depth by taking a little bit of that purple again and just redefining the crease that became a little bit less visible. And now I'm going to take this Bella Pierre loose pigment in the shade Celebration and I'm going to be highlighting underneath my brows. And now taking my mixing solution and that same Bella Pierre pigment, I'm going to create a nice gold liner that is nice and defined. It really adds that finishing touch. Now moving on to skin, I'm going to be taking a little bit of my L'Oreal foundation, this is in the shade Deep Espresso 10C 10R and I'm going to take this buffing brush and I am going to buff that foundation all over my skin. I usually use a sponge but a brush works just as well and I take it down onto my neck also. Now taking my beautiful bronze concealer, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the high points of my face that being my nose bridge, my chin, moustache area and my under eye area. And now I'm going to take that same foundation brush and I will blend out that concealer. 
Just going round in buffing motions, no swiping is necessary. And now to set those highlighted areas, I'm going to take my Sienna powder from Ben Nye and just make sure that the face is set in all of those brightened areas. And now taking my Ebony Translucent Powder, also from Ben Nye, I'm going to set the perimeters of my face, so around the forehead, around the jawline area and all of that. Now I'm going to take Empire and I will highlight with, and I'm going to take this Full Throttle Lipstick from NYX and I'm going to line my lips and then I'm going to fill that in. And now taking a pigment, a very shimmery pigment, I'm going to place that in the centre of my lip to give it a nice dimension and give it more of a glowy look. Then I'm going to be taking my Dewy Setting Spray from NYX Professional Makeup and I will be setting all of my face. And this is the final look guys, I hope you guys are living for it, I hope you loved watching this video and it means so much to me.